module 2 i heard module 2 was um simple but i ain't too sure let's see what happens make a user accesses an information system to book an appointment with the blood collection center after typing his name address contact number and selecting other information the screen lists his eligibility and states that he should before the appointment explain what type of user interface would be most appropriate for booking this appointment so he typed in his name his address his contact number and then selecting other information that sounds like it's a form interface so there's a form interface because it allows the user to both type in information and choose from a set of options in the drop down menu. Yes, I'm right up. Yeah, because it said select another information. So that select another information is supposed to give it like a thing. Yeah, selection should kind of be. Oh, yeah, form. So chances are it's late in the night and you're watching this past paper video hoping that you get the answers to the past paper that you've been looking for for all this time and you're happy that it actually exists on YouTube. Well, don't leave it up to the YouTube algorithm to show you the rest of um, answers. I have an app that's called Learn It by Make It Simple TT and it has all the past paper answers in chronological order for the past 10 years, maybe 12, depending on the time that you're watching this video. It might have a lot more. The app is called Learn It. Go find it, download it, link will be in the description. And if you want to see the PDF with the actual crap of handwriting that I have with the answers, so you could actually scroll through the PDF and look at the answers as it was written. Instead of watching the video, hey, you could do that too. Download the app now. All right, back to the answers. Um, describe two categories of users who may find this appointment booking system difficult to use. Oof, oof. Two, two of them, boy, for four marks. You're asking for plenty, boy. All right, so let's say we say, um, Visually impaired, visually impaired because they um, may not see the, the required information. And then the next people will be probably um, disabled disabled um people i don't i don't i think they have another word for this differently able or something like that but i just been it for now please don't kill me it's 2022 and you know everybody is sensitive but answer any question right disabled people who cannot type um on the keyboard effectively yeah what else boy a person who is not computer literate no nah, i don't think they will give you a person who's not computer literate because a person who's not computer literate will usually have problems with a gui but a form interface is kind of made to make it easy for you to just put any information necessary so you don't have to click and right click and save and all that kind of stuff so somebody who's not computer literate, I don't think it will be the best answer because um, they could use a form interface. Basically, a form interface is for people who are not computer literate. They make it as simple as possible. Um, yeah, that's the word thing. Not nothing any, nothing any scenario here. Say something about you know, like putting in your name, address, and contact number on a form, and they're giving you options thing to select things one time. As that's not. I don't think that'll work. I doubt CXE will have an answer that will accept that. I mean, maybe they would. I I can't tell you what the answer sheets will have, but from my point of view, I think the two best ones will be visually impaired because they can't see properly, and disabled people because they can't type on the keyboard effectively. Example, if they are paraplegic or something like that. All right, Olori. Haha, <laughs> Olori is name. Olori is a mobile. Polori. Olori used her mobile device to make a payment via online banking. She logged on um, to the bank's special app, selected the utility company, and typed the payment amount before completing the transfer of funds. Okay. 
She saw a message that said authentication failed and asked a friend if this meant that her password was corrupted, defined in terms of authentication and corruption. Oh, so I'm not even feeling to write this because it's so easy. A verifying if the um, username and password match thus confirming the authenticity of the user who should know the password yeah anything like that just explain that that out that's that's kind of food corruption corruption would be the data being in a state that is no longer usable or understandable by the computer program. Yeah, let's just go with that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. Um, what's that? Let me go back to the chat there. Wouldn't have visually impaired and disabled considered? No. Visually impaired is clearly you can't see properly. Disabled means that you can't type. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Some systems use a combination of biometrics, username and password to authenticate users or find two advantages of employing this combination to authenticate users. You're using biometrics and a username and password. Okay. Two advantages. One, there is a, there are two layers of security. So if one gets compromised the other would still provide some security and um two um wow this 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 is actually harder than i expected outline two advantages of employing this combination that they could use us an attacker would think twice before trying to break in because they will be watered away wow that answer kind of weak boy i'm thinking about next one what was that next one boy you have a backup mm. you have a backup and what else boy i really not too sure let me think hard biometrics yeah, you have a backup? I don't know. See, the fact that they say they have a combination, that means you can't use just one and not the other. You have to use both of them. Or does it mean a combination of biometrics? Mmm, I understand. Yeah, we'll take that. People will be watered away. Yeah. People will be watered away. I'll take that one and go. Um, Javish, don't time them out, you know. You could just block them, like... I don't know what you're timing them out for. Just be like, remove you giving people a chance. You feel it's like parole or jail. Alright, for you, and I took the apologies designed in such a way that the failure of a single device will result in a complete or partial network failure. Name that apologist is ring. Because the failure of a single device, that's clearly if one device goes down, that's it. Because I'm going to show you why. A ring. What will happen with a ring is if this one device goes down, that means the data that's trying to travel here will not be able to pass. So it will have a failure because somewhere along the ring, the data can't get around the other side. That's all. Um, ring. Cool. New employees, Ari and Mishka. Mishka. Would you ask to change their passwords on their first log on to the company's website? Ari typed Ari for his new password and while Mishka typed which password is more robust? Da da da. Mitch, cause, because 
it doesn't use common names yeah doesn't use common to guess by hackers all right cool all in one method that is used to ensure that the correct user is changing the password double entry double entry by making them put in the password twice yeah all right on one difference between html and xml yeah people get mashed up here this one here destroys some people they're like what but if you did pass people you would have seen that this question came already and if you went through all the past people that i did you would have noticed too html is html is static and cannot be changed x html can be modified with new commands when needed yeah what's this um online one method of ensure that the correct you that the correct user is changing the password yeah you could put two fa two step work and two factor authentication yeah, yeah two factor authentication is acceptable that is that oh there's more oh oh there's the html one where a lot of students didn't know that they had to do html Pickle Club wishes to update its website, so we want to take this and translate that to a page. Well, basically what they want you to do is create a page, something like this. File thing on top there, put the title as the um, born semi-professional cricket club. Alright, obviously I have to stretch this out a little longer because... Alright, so we put our title on top there, then they want you to see the background color is green. The easiest way to do that is just part around be like green. The background color of everything in the body is green. I have to say the same thing again. Okay. The East Born Semi Professional. Sorry, this one. Cricket Club. Right. How do I tell them that this is heading one? I don't know. Just be like heading one. Or put like bigger. If you couldn't write it in a way that makes it bigger, yeah. Then, where workouts and training are to All this writing, boy. Where workouts. Dog, do please don't be making a no noise. And training. Where workouts and training are geared towards creating successful players. Are geared towards creating successful players players and then this part around say this is times new roman that's all there you know yeah that's the five marks there all right i module two there let's go on to module three